today let's take up link list which comes under the lesson link list tags and queues so first of all we'll start with link list now let's first try to understand the concept of a single link list now basically what a link list uh, will look like that we will see uh, we will have uh, supposing these are the nodes of the link list right these are the nodes of the link list where the information will be stored now each link list each uh, node of the link list right is made up of two parts one is the information part one is the address part right so we are going to make use of pointers here now see this uh, this is the first node of the link list right node uh, is basically uh, where we store the information right so here supposing I want to store some integer values inside these link list right now here I put the value 10 right now this is the first node of my link list and this is basically a, a place allotted in the memory so it will have an address right so suppose I say the address of this is 1051 now this is the first node of the link list so this one this is a start pointer this is called the start pointer this this pointer uh, points to the beginning of the list now what is the beginning of the list the beginning of the list is this right okay so start is a pointer means a pointer can contain only addresses right so start is pointing to this node the address of this node is what 1051 so start is going to have the value 1051 okay now supposing this is the next node this is 20 now here again one address will be assigned let's say the address is 1067 right so now this is the second node the first node is pointing to the second node like this so this one this is the next pointer this is the next pointer basically this will also contain an address this will contain the address of the next node what is the address of the next node 1067 right and here this one supposing this is the last node of the list and we have got the number 30 here right now obviously an address will be given to this let's say it's 1098 so the next pointer of the second node will contain the address 1098 so that this start pointing towards this now supposing this is the last node of the linked list the last node of the linked list is not pointing to anything right so the next pointer of the last node will always be equal to none fine now uh, there are some basic operations in a single link list that we will be doing the first operation that we will learn is inserting in the beginning inserting in the beginning now supposing this is a link list you already have a link list fine and now you create a new node right I create a new node here and this node is to be inserted in the beginning so how will uh, what will happen see this is the new node you give some value inside this new node supposing I put the value as 5 right and there will be an address for the new node so let's say the address allotted for the new node is 1076 right now If this node has to be put in the first place 
that means start start always contains the address of the first node right so if this node has to be made as the first node right in that case start should start pointing to this understood and this uh, link this link should be cut we don't want this link this is going to be the first node if this is going to be the first node then this one zero sorry this is one zero seven six right so one zero seven six has to be stored in start got it now before saving this one zero seven six inside this start you already have one zero five one 1051 has to be stored in a place so supposing I take a variable I say some temporary variable that's also a pointer right because it's the address right I store this 1051 here right after that I change this 1051 and I put 1076 here right so now this link has been made now this will become the second node this will become the second node right so that means this 1051 which you had stored here it should come in this place right so now you see the link again has been made 1076 points to the first node 1051 points to the next one 1067 points to the next this points to the next and this is the last node right if you are making if, if the link list is empty right if the link list is empty and you are creating the first node so obviously it will be the first node which will be inserted in the beginning only right okay so this is supposing I say this is a new node which has been created right and uh, here whenever a new node is created the address sorry the next pointer is put as null right and you give some information here this is 78 suppose right and there is an address which is allotted to this supposing 1089 right now this is the new node so basically you have to check if the link list is having some elements in it or not right so if the pointer start this is the pointer start right if the pointer start does not contain anything does not contain anything means the pointer start is equal to null it means the link list is empty but if it contains some address then there is something in the linked list so first of all we check whether start is equal to null or not if start is equal to null then we know that the linked list is empty and the node that you have created this is going to be the first node in the list okay so here what will you do you will put the address of the newly created node that's it so this is insertion in the beginning again but here the linked list is empty and so the uh, thing becomes simple nothing has to be done whereas in this case we took an already existing link list and created a new node and inserted that in the beginning right in this case you have to remember that the earlier value which was there in start has to be stored somewhere so that you don't lose that value like I stored that in a temporary pointer 1051 if I had not stored that and put this 1076 here right I would have lost that address so that thing has to be kept in mind right okay now for all these uh, programs in linked list we need to understand basically the structure of this node so I am just going to show you the structure of node here now we will concentrate on this part this one this is the structure of the node here right 
uh, struct node this node is not something which is you it's not necessary to give the same name node node is a user defined name you can give anything you want but we take it as node uh, you can give anything right okay struct node now there are two things in this node as I said one is the information part and one is the this is the this is the place where the address comes right so I have, we have broken it into two it can be broken into three also right the first is int num int num wherein we store an integer number then you have node pointer next now look at this here this is pointer next fine next is a name again a user defined name right and it is a pointer and what is the data type of that pointer the data type of that pointer is node so what does it mean see uh, if supposing you have something like this int pointer what does it mean int pointer can point to a integer variable that's what it means char pointer can point to a character variable right now node is a data type here when you say struct node node is a data type like int care right okay so if you have a node pointer if you have a node pointer it means this pointer can point only to another node another node means again a node is something which has got these two parts right so this pointer this is the next pointer that we have the next pointer the next pointer can point it cannot point to an integer it cannot point to a character it cannot point to a float it can point only to another node of this structure right that's what it means fine so you have got these two things in the node right and then for writing I mean uh, for carrying on the insertion in the linked list these pointers will be needed so we have made pointer start pointer start is also of type node only pointer start pointer new ptr pointer save and pointer ptr there's a semicolon after this right okay so basically i'm making four pointers of node type this is outside the structure so this is this will mean uh, this is of the same uh, structure right structure type right so pointer start will point to the starting node right new ptr will be needed when we make the new node right and save and ptr these things also we will use when we do the insertion fine so this structure this structure has to be understood in order to proceed further fine now we have the complete uh, program for insertion in the linked list but first of all the concept of the linked list single linked list this is called a single linked list and you have only a single linked list the first thing you do is a single linked list only right so the concept of the single linked list should be understood and the process and the concept of insertion in the beginning what is actually to be done now this what we have seen here this is to be converted into a C++ coding right which we will take up in our next session so with that i come to the end of this session on linked list bye